person, any celebrity. They and you know they ended up going to the finals by bringing Elvis back to sing live at the finals, which was crazy and it was indistinguishable from real life. Mm. They do the Tom Cruise deep fake. They do so many other things, and I knew. I said, "This is the future, man." And they they went all the way to the finals. Like they almost made it, but it changed the game. I was like, "This is the future." In fact, I would love, and, and I'm I'm an early adopter, but I would love, and I've I've scanned my whole body several times, huh. but w- when I'm long gone, to still be able to do performances literally for my grandkids and other projects and other movies and other things when I am already to see, I'm, I could be 50 years gone, but people will still see a new Terry Crews project. That's the dream that for me, I have no problem with that. You know what I mean? Go ahead. You got it. Um, and these guys with this technology and what AI has done, I I've already invested in stuff. Um, we actually have, a full-fledged uh, digital copy of Carnegie Hall that I teamed up with this group called Virtual Worlds, and we went and we scanned Carnegie Hall for the future. Well, that's fat to the deep fake stuff, Terry. Wow, I didn't realize you had your body whole scan. Yeah, you know, I have several times. Several times because it gets better. You know what I mean? And oh, I'll, so you go back and do yeah, improve. I did it the first time I did it was five years ago. Wow. And so now I did it one like a year ago. And so now, you know, and even now I, I got my face scanned just literally a week ago to so to add facial hair and all this stuff. So it's, the technology is getting better and better and better. I remember early on in my time in Hollywood, everyone said digital will never replace film. You mm. have to, I was, at my early movies were on film. Mm. And everyone was like, nope, digital will never make it. You know, hey, and it's a Kodak theater. It will always be the Kodak theater. <laughs> Until Kodak was gone. (laughs) But see, this also reminds me, I grew up in Flint, Michigan, and everyone was like, foreign cars, they were burning foreign cars when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. There would be smokestacks, you know, in the parking lots from the workers who were like, there will never be a foreign car in Michigan and Mm -hmm. whatever. And I saw their resistance, but while they were resisting, their factories were being closed. Mm -hmm. And everything was gone. You can never resist. One thing you have to find ways to to to, to go along with the future. Mm. And I've seen it now where there's a lot of artists that are really, really resisting AI mm. because they feel like it's stealing or they feel like whatever. But I tell you, creativity can never be replaced as long as you put you in it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like a computer can never replace you. It can mm. only enhance you. Mm. Um, and that's my mindset. I think that once I would never forget when film went to digital, it never went back. Mm. Never. We're filming digitally right now. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's wild. I don't have to take my film to get developed unless it was some sort of art project. But I think the same thing with AI. I think we can't really resist. And it's what's wonderful about metaphysic. I'm still friends with those guys. They just worked on Tom Hanks' latest movie. Wait till you see them de-age Tom. It's inc- dude. It's indistinguishable. You were mm-hmm. like, how did they do this? They. It was like Tom at twenty. Hmm. This is crazy. It's never going anywhere. Hmm. You can't resist it because look at what we can do. It actually opened up hmm. projects for Tom Hanks. It's opening up projects for people. They did the same thing with uh, Harrison Ford. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's opening up the fact that, man, you de-age people. It allows them to give, you know, performances that they wouldn't have been able to do. Totally. Until this technology comes out. So I am an early adopter. I embrace it. Um, You know, hopefully my pecs will pop. (laughs) Artificial intelligence. (laughs) Let's make it happen. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I just really hopeful for, you know, and there's going to be a super creative that's going to take this to a whole nother level. Mm. You know what I mean? When I, when I say they're going to Christopher Nolan this thing mm. and it's going to be like, that's why it was created. You know mm. what I mean? We're all going to be like, 
we got it now. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I remember everyone resists change. Are you afraid of being copied or like people taking that or like, like there's a lot of like now musicians, their voices are being taken and creating songs. Like you're kind of like putting yourself there intentionally. Like, do you worry about that at all? Not at all. I, first of all, I love like people have done remixes of Old Spice stuff. Yeah. They've done remixes of the performances, me dancing and white chicks. Hmm. They put all their own things on it. First of all, take it. I'm done. I'm good. Whatever you like and you want to you want to do something with me as long as it's not pornography, I'm good. Mm. <laughs> That's the only limit. I'm like, yeah. "Hey man, as long as I got my clothes on, I'm good." <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I think I, I, again, I think that you know, as long as I'm alive, I one thing that's great about that Drake song that yeah. just came out, he said, "I didn't do it." Mm. And instantly it was gone. You got to get the endorsement. Got it. If once you get the endorsement, the person that's around say, yep, that's me. And there's good, there's ways to digitally know who's approving what, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing. Like it's just like your DNA code. You know hmm. what I'm saying? I think that that's the next future where people will be able to really say, okay, you know, I put my code in, it's, it's lined up with my DNA. You know, it's me. Yeah. And that's all official. Wow. I yeah. think it's great. The cosign is going to be even more important I that do. you were involved. Right. The cosign. It's just once Drake said, that ain't me. Yeah. It's like, get out of here. Yeah. You know but what if I you mean? said, you know what? I really like that. Or like, I'm going to hop on it and remix it myself. Then it's, then it's an advantage. Then you can, you can use it and let somebody do something. You give it the okay. Wow. That's a cool way to work, man. You know what I mean? Like you, it's still your voice. Yeah. So why don't we work together? It reminds me of the early days of YouTube, like people chopping up videos and right. ideas being more crowdsourced. But yep. then somebody could take and be like, let's Think about with it that. with the TikToks where people are sharing, like they split it in half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and just watch you looking at another video. It works, man. It still goes viral. I mean, you're literally taking content from other people and remixing it. How do you it. recreate the creative spirit, the performance, the spontaneity?